as promised, a couple of weeks later, but here I am dangling from a rope in Cunningham Cooler. First, a little rewind to yesterday. So this is it, final curtain call. Last orders at the bar for the 2023-2024 ski season in Chamonix. But there's still time for one final powder day before the fat lady sings, sort of. But let's go. Forget dust on crust today, this is slough on slush. It's actually really good fun on the snowboard until you hit a flat spot and then your speed just dies. But yeah, the base hasn't been frozen at all and then it's snowing, wet sticky snow on top. So yeah, super soft. So the lift's closed for good this Sunday, the 5th of May here at Grand Monte. It's gonna be a big end of season party called Freeride Day. Caveman and dinosaur, fancy, fancy Jess theme. It's gonna be a, a pond skim, assuming there's enough snow left to actually build it. Live music, lots of drinking, lots of dancing, lots of partying. And then the party will continue down in the Argentera at the bottom of the mountain afterwards as well. So yeah, one last hurrah at the Chamonix 2023, 2024 ski season. And it's only 10 euros a lift ticket for the day as well. On the slow train. They've removed the handrails on the steep section now, but the zigzag is still fully equipped. In theory, it's equipped for another week till the 12th of May, and after that, you're on the own. So, definitely needing crampons and axe after that. Looks like somebody skied from the corner there, so it's definitely possible, but you don't want to be doing it, there's lots of people here. Those five or six days of fern wind that we had earlier this week really done it for the lower valley branch and the murder glass. In fact, even after two days, it completely stripped it. So it's now a pretty long walk out back to the gondola. And in all honesty, probably not, much, probably not worth doing valley branch now unless it's amazing powder up top because you've got to slog through this quite a long way. I came here a few days ago and it was all orange as well from Sahara and dust. It's building a little bit of fresh snow now, but it's just papering over the cracks. A week ago, everyone was skiing over that. You don't want to be skiing over it now. I imagine it's a pretty big hole as well.
So, this is it. The final part of my final weekly snow report for 2023-2024 winter season in Chamonix. Although, this isn't necessarily my final snow report that I'll do this year. More on that at the end. I may well do another snow report next week. We shall see. But yeah, this is formally the end of the season. So, the weather over the last few days, and indeed for much of the next coming week as well now, is very much seasonal temperatures. It feels very spring-like now. No longer is there the extreme temperature swings and crazy extreme weather events. It's very much, as you would expect, average temperatures. So, freezing levels are yo-yoing between about 2,000 and 3,000 meters. When the sun's out, like it is right now, it feels really warm, really hot. But when it's not, it still feels quite damp and gloomy and cold. So, this is pretty much the classic view of Chamonix that you'll get in spring. Lush and green down in the valley here, but the high mountains are still absolutely plastered in white. It's very much winter up there. So yeah, classic Chamonix spring right now. And as you've seen, I finally managed Cunningham Couloir yesterday, and conditions are about as perfect as you're ever going to get these days. Any more snow, we'd have had to really worry about slough management. Any less snow, and the turns have been a lot less enjoyable. It's pretty much perfect, 20 to 30 centimetres of firm but soft powder and of course the overhead conditions were outstanding bluebird powder day so pretty special but not only that we finished it off with skiing west couloir as well which is a much more interesting and entertaining finish to the usual variant where you finish down the exit couloir of the ronde so yeah two classics in a day and then we finished off with a final lap down the valley bunch as well in pretty much zero viz but the snow was still pretty good up high so it was definitely worth the effort up until now, so far this year, most people have been taking four full 60 metre abseils to get their skis on in the Cunningham Couloir. But it's now possible to ski after two. We actually down climbed what would be the third abseil because there was an impatient team behind us and we're trying to get out of the way. But they put their skis on after two abseils. And all this wet, sticky snow we've had this week has actually started to fill in the upper couloir. So yeah, from now on in, it's only going to be you know, required to do two abseils to get into the Cunningham Couloir. And then in West Couloir, it was only one abseil to get into the couloir from the top of the little boot pack and then you could ski the whole length of it without having to do any sidestepping or side slipping or jumping over cliff bands or anything. So yeah, West Cool is also pretty well filled in now as well. The season may be formally over now, but the ski season for me definitely still isn't over. I've got several big objectives I still want to do. Not least, I want another attempt at Mont Blanc in a day. So yeah, still hoping to do that. And of course, the Jivasuti Kuwara as well, as I was defeated in that the other week. So, like I say, this isn't necessarily the last snow report I'll do this year, but it's the last weekly one I'll do. From now on in, I'll just do them as and when I've got something to say. If there's a major big dump of powder, or indeed if there's a major heat wave. But other than that, yeah, it'll only be when there's something worth saying, really. But also, gradually over time, I think I'll kind of morph these snow reports into a summer alpine report. So, eventually. Classic amateur error. My GoPro ran out of juice mid sentence, so I'm having to finish things off down here. But yeah, I was just saying that I'll probably continue these conditions reports as a summer alpine conditions report sporadically through the summer as well. But finally, I'd like to say a big thank you to those of you who come along with me on this journey. I think it's been 24 weeks now, so it's a long old season. I was pretty happy at the start of the season when I was getting around a thousand views a week. I've been blown away with how much it's taken off throughout the season. Typically getting four or five thousand views a week now, which is, yeah, it's pretty humbling really. Also a big thank you to all of you who've come up and spoken to me, either out on the mountains or in the town or even indeed at the airport. It's great to get your feedback and obviously I really appreciate hearing that you're getting something out of what I do because I make peanuts out of YouTube. I'm not doing this for, to make money. I'm doing this because you guys are getting so much out of it. So it's great to know that you're actually enjoying it. And yeah, your feedback means a lot to me. So thanks very much. Literally, my ski content will tail off throughout the summer as the snow disappears. But I have plenty of other things to keep me going through the summer. So if you want to keep supporting me, then please continue watching my videos. Even if the Tour de France, whatever it is I'm covering, doesn't interest you, just stick on in the background. Let it play to itself. But yeah, hopefully there'll be still plenty of things to keep you all entertained. You saw alpine climbing, for example, is something that interests lots of you as well, so you'll find stuff to keep you entertained there. I've got a few other projects up my sleeve as well, which hopefully keep you all entertained for the summer until next winter. I've enjoyed making these videos, and indeed, most of you enjoyed watching them as well. So I definitely plan on doing this again next winter season. So let me know in the comments if there's anything you think I should do slightly differently, or there are things you'd like me to add. But yeah. Broadly speaking, I imagine I'll follow a very similar format because it worked pretty well for me and it worked pretty well for you. But for now, until the next one, or indeed till next season, this is a big thank you and goodbye.